Well, we have a marathon finish at the Colorado State Capitol tonight. Right now, lawmakers, they're still there discussing some critical last minute bills on this final day of the legislative session. And the Capitol is where we find Russell Haythorn tonight. Russell, a couple of bills here are looking at taxpayer relief. Right, Shannon, one of those bills would give property owners some relief after they received sky high assessments over the course of the past month or so. Those came in the mail. And then the other bill is a Tabor refund that would go to all Coloradans, regardless of whether they own a home or not. Let's start with that one. The Tabor relief bill was passed by lawmakers in both the House and the Senate and it would amount to about $600 for every Coloradan, no matter if you're a renter or a homeowner. That one is now on its way to the governor's desk. The other is a property tax bill that would relieve some of the assessments homeowners were nailed with over the course of the past month. Many experienced sticker shock as they opened their latest assessments to find that their taxes would increase next year by 50% or more. Democrats are now putting forward a bill that would cut those property taxes by about 15%. Republicans, on the other hand, call it nothing more than a bait and switch. Come on, Governor, let's be truthful. Let's be forthcoming with the public. Let's let them know that what you're really doing is you're taking money out of one side of their pocket, uh, maybe out of their wallet, as we've heard said, and, and putting it back into their pocket, their money. First, we're going to bring the assessment rate down to 6.7%. Got it. That's a pretty significant drop, um, about 6 7%. And then on top of that, we're also going to exclude or exempt the first $40,000 of property value. And we're looking at an amendment actually to go on that would bump that up even maybe a little bit higher. So we think that's a huge combination for most homeowners. And altogether, that's 16, 17% size, 18% for the average homeowner, yeah. which will wipe out a big piece of that increase. So here's the latest within the last 15 minutes or so after that property tax relief bill was amended several times in the House over the course of this evening. It was finally passed in both the full House and the full Senate. So that one appears like it's heading to the governor's desk as well. Lawmakers are also discussing a last minute land use bill that would add high density housing around RTD stations. And it would also allow more Coloradans to build those accessory dwelling units on their properties so they could in turn rent those out and generate some additional income. We'll keep you posted on that one. For now, we're live at the state capitol this evening. I'm Russell Haythorn and Shannon, back yeah, to you guys. Clock is ticking. All right, thank you.